Hello guys, today we will be doing the month of December, so let's get into it, let's cue that intro. Oh no, and welcome back to the Villarreal career mode, and it's me, Dan, back again, and today we will be doing the month of the December. We've only got, what, four games in it, I think. Yeah, we've got Sevilla, we've got Young Boys in the Champions League, and then we've got Real Vallecano, and then we do have Real Sociedad before the winter break. So just before we start, I just want to say thank you guys for all the recent likes and comments recently. And I just want to say thank you to all new subscribers for subscribing. So thank you guys for that as well. And if you haven't yet hit the subscribe button, please hit that subscribe button as it does really help. And don't forget to like the video as well as, uh, you know, the video gets out there and yada, yada, yada. And the algorithm and, uh, yeah. <laughs> so uh, just before we start, um, obviously, um, I am ill. Um, well, I'm not ill. I've just got cold. Um, so if you hear me coughing throughout the episode, I'm sorry about that. Um, I'll try to remove it if I can in the edit, um, if I can remember. Um, but fingers crossed, hopefully, you know, hopefully I should be okay today. Um, so yeah, so uh, last week, I think what happened, I think we... Uh, played Bar yeah we played the Barcelona game in one four one I think we just did the month of November didn't we really um we played the two you know you know we played uh no we only played the one game didn't we I think I think it was the only Barcelona because we um we visual sim the other one didn't we against Manchester United so yeah um right anyway so let's get into it we do have Sevilla up first um I'm not going to be playing any games today. Um, I think we're going to be playing, I think we've got a game coming up against Atletico Madrid after the international break, after the international break, after the winter break. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do. So can we beat Sevilla? Um, if I can get a draw or win, that would be fantastic. And we get a win. So there we go. We'll take that. A yards ball with the late goal and and their Siri uh, got their goal and then Sane got our goal. So there we go. Um, wow, Werner had to come off at half time. Um, okay, uh, but yeah, five, five shots to five on target, 55% possession to their 45. They had two shots, two on target, and uh, Sane got man of the match with an 8.6. Uh, yes, yeah, so there we go. Uh, right, so let's go into the post match interview now, then, and see what's what, and then we'll get into the next game, which is against uh, is Burn Young, they are from. Burn, isn't it? Switzerland, young boys. I think it is Burn. Um, I can't remember. I think it is. I'm pretty sure it is. Right. Um, let's continue on then. We do have, uh, yeah, we do have the Champions League game. Obviously, we've won the group because we beat Manchester United in the last game. Um, so that's good to see. Um, Sane's improvement is now done. So that's good. We'll do that wide playmaker role for him and St. Maximin's not happy that he didn't play but that's fine he will play in the next game so don't worry about that right so against young boys we do have a press conference as well so let's do the press conference and then we'll get into the game right okie dokes um I think I'm feeling confident that's fine um dressing room yeah we're as good as anybody and the team is absolutely flying. This is what I expect from us. Same old answers. Same old answers. Right. Okay, dokes. Um, right, let's uh, get into this one. Let's put the second team out. And can the second team get uh, the result against Young Boys? And we do. Only just 3-2. Two, two around with two goals. And Serge Aurier with the other goal. Uh, Pifok, Pifok and Fernandez with their goals. Uh, but yeah, three-two. Yet again, we've come up with a late winner. Uh, fifty-seven to forty-three in possession. Six shots, four on target. Three shots, three on target. And uh, of course, Turam gets a nine-point-eight. So there we go. That is really good. So let's go into the post-match interview now, then, and see what's what. And then we'll go into the next game against Rayo Vallecano. Hopefully, we'll get the three points there as well. Although, Rayo Vallecano are a bogey team for me in the La Liga. They're always a bogey team for me. So, I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, they pull a, they pull a fast one on us. Um, but hopefully, fingers crossed. Hopefully, fingers crossed they don't. Uh, right, so match rescheduled. So, tournament prize money. Let's see who we have in the Champions League next round then. 
Uh, where can we see? We oh we've got Man City. <laughs> oh my God, we got uh, we got. I was gonna say we got uh, Real Madrid and then Man City, but we got Granada in between, so that's not too bad, I guess. We got Man City. Uh, well, if we're gonna win it. We're gonna have to beat the best. Um, so hopefully we can beat City, or at least put a good performance in against City. But that's still in February, so. We've got some time before that. Right, um, can we... Should we go in with the first team again? Yeah, sure, why not? So can we beat Rayo Vallecano? And we do. 2-0, we've got a clean sheet as well. Yarsbal with two goals in the second half. That'll do. Falcao missed a penalty. Uh, so that's good, good for us, I guess. 59-41 uh, to in possession. Six shots, five on target. Three shots, one on target. And Yarsbal got man of the match with a 10 rating. And Martinez, uh, the goalkeeper, got an 8 rating. Quite a few players actually got an 8 rating. Pretty much the whole defence got a good rating there. So there we go. We shall take that. Um, right, so let's go on to the next one then, where we do have... Um, where do we have? We have uh, Rao Sociedad, I think, uh, before the winter break. So that is our last game before Christmas. So... There we are. That's a nice way to finish off the month, or finish off the year, a game against Real Sociedad. And I think they are actually near the close, aren't they? They are quite um, near the top, aren't they? Well, there was. Um, let's have a look. Oh, maybe not. Uh, they're, down, they're down in 14th. So, yeah. Um, so there we are. That's not too bad. Right, so let's advance towards that game against Real Sociedad. We're now 11 points ahead of Real Madrid. So that is pretty cool. Um, right, Serge Aurier wants to play in this game. So, yeah, why not? Let's let let's uh, let the second team have a run out. Why not? Um we are away as well. So can the second team pull off a victory against Real Sociedad? And, wow, okay, uh, we lost. <laughs> um, pretty even game, to be honest. Uh, but Isaac and Garudi were the goals. And that is our um, that is our winless, winless run, uh, winning run down. Uh, but, yeah, 2-0, that is a massive surprise, especially with the second team. 53% possession to 47. Six shots, five on target. Six shots, three on target. Let's look at the team ratings. Oh, dear. Stipinian with a 4.9 and Basuma with a 5.0. Uh, Garudi gets the man of the match for them. Uh, yeah, I was going to say Ramiro made some good saves there, so he got an 8.6. Um, so that is really poor from us. Um Oh dear, that yeah, that is really poor, really poor from us. We dropped points, but you know we was eleven points clear of second place Real Madrid just a minute ago. But obviously we're now down to eight points now. But um, fingers crossed, we should be okay. Right, so let's go on to the uh, yeah. Let's do finish this press conference, and then we'll advance towards. Oh, um, I just did the wrong option. Whoops. Uh, yeah, let's advance towards the um, next game, which is against... I'm not too sure, actually. Who is it against? It's against... It's against Levante. So we'll probably save that one for next episode, guys. Um, I don't think... Looking at the transfer market, I don't think we will be signing anyone. Um, I think we're good all over the place on the first in the first team. Um, you could say Paul Torres, but um, you know, I, 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 you know, he's still eighty four, so that's still good. And the second team, the second team is really good, apart from uh, Garvadel, but you know, Garvadel will um, hopefully grow. Fingers crossed. And well, actually, yeah, the Foyth and Gar Garvadel and Gravenberch haven't really grew that much, have they? Really, but fingers crossed, they will grow by the end of the season. And uh, yeah, Sam Maximum is now an 84 now, which is really cool. Um, and who else is quite high? Well, La Celso, we already know. And actually, Basuma is actually an 83 now as well. So I we have to watch out for that. Um, I mean, we could maybe sign a massive midfielder. But if we do that, then we'll have to loan out Graven Birch and then like demote one of the Pellegrini or Madison to the second team, which I don't really want to do, to be honest. Um... I mean, is there many good centre midfielders? I mean, I mean, I have to be honest. I have been thinking about changing the formation to a four-three-two-one, um, 
you know, like we normally do. But I know if we do that, then we'd have to put Madison as the cam, I would think. Although shooting, he's got 76. So like, yeah, I'll put Madison as the cam, I think. And then Pellegrini and, um, Pellegrini and Kessie as the main midfielders. And then, I mean, we could put Yarsbo as the cam and then sign a, and sign a winger again. But um, I don't know. I don't know. Um, that's, I think we, I think, I think we're okay. I think we're okay. We don't need any more upgrades. I mean, if we do upgrade, it probably would be a midfield signing or a centre-back signing, which I very doubt that we're going to do. I mean, we could demote Torres to the second team and then loan out Garvidal. I mean, that would make the second team a bit much better. I don't know. I'm going to leave it up to you guys. What should we do? Should we make any more signings? I don't think we will. Uh, personally, um, but I'll have a look. I'll have a look. Uh, so anyway, guys, I'm actually going to end it there for today. So please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. So right, guys, I'm going. Bye.